you know, they're strong, but they already cause you to like die if you have a pacemaker. So don't put this by your heart if you have a... <coughs> a pacemaker. <coughs> I just get... <coughs> get <me. coughs> Three days later. Oh, that's kind of a, a long nap. I thought I was gone for a second. I started going towards the light. I heard Tim no. Cook's voice. And I was like, what well, I'm not ready day. for this yet. So I'm back. What's up, guys? Sam here. Listen, guys, we've got some great stories to talk about. A great show, as always. I can't wait to jump into it. If you're excited, drop a like down below. Hit subscribe for more. And let's go ahead and get started, because that's going to be fun. First up, before we jump into anything else, there's a fresh episode of Genius Bar out now. All spectrums of human emotion in the latest episode of Genius Bar. So check it out, link down below. It's like a ton of fun, so you should watch it. All right guys, today we're talking two thirds iPhone, one third Mac, which equals three thirds or one. We simplified that down. Yeah, I have a college degree, not, not to flex. Also verified on Twitter now. Subtle flex, subtle flex. So flex. All right, let's start off today with the 2021 iPhones. I know you guys have heard about the 12S, you've heard about the 13, you've heard so much. I, just, I don't want to talk about the features. I know you know what's coming if you're, I mean, you can find videos. What caught my eye was when some new photos of cases appeared online. So these are obviously based off of the actual iPhone 12S schematics. And you might say, okay, it's a case. Why are you telling me this? This has no relevance whatsoever. Genuinely, that is always the case with cases. But something that caught my eye this year was just how much larger the camera modules are getting. I mean, generally we get some minor camera improvements, but this year they're kind of insane. Just look at how these cases fit over the current iPhone models. I mean, it's not even close to fitting in here. Not only is the actual module itself bigger, but the, the lenses are larger. Rather than being like this, they're like this. No? <laughs> you guys ready to fight? <laughs> This is look weird. Everything in the apparatus on both the standard 12S and what looks to be the 12S Pro is getting quite a bit larger. I think this suggests that we are going to see this as the focus of this year's iPhones. I mean, every year we get camera upgrades. We got the third camera in 2019. We got some nice HDR stuff on the 12 series. I get it. But I don't ever recall seeing the entire lineup get larger camera modules like this. I mean, from center stiff, center, from sensor shift stabilization uh, to larger apertures potentially, or physically bigger sensors, I genuinely think this suggests that the cameras are gonna be the focus this year. And it also makes sense because it's like an S year, the body's staying similar, I think it's going to make sense. Know what else is getting bigger? The deal that I got for you guys with WeVPN. You guys know the VPNs help you stay safer and more anonymous online, and there's a reason I use WeVPN instead of everybody else. The guys over at WeVPN are a group of industry veterans that left all the other VPN companies doing sketchy stuff with your data in order to make a product that not only gets better every week, but that also cares about you. On top of that, WeVPN allows you to unblock content on now more than 350 streaming services around the world, meaning you can watch shows that aren't usually available in your area. I've use this and it's so cool. And right now there's a crazy deal happening. The summer sale is live, which means that for a limited time, you can get 74% off and three months of free service when you purchase a two year plan. That's just $2.59 a month. And on top of that, when you use code iUpdate, you get an additional 10% off. Listen, there's a reason that I continue to work with WeVPN each and every single week. And it's because I use it and I believe in it. If you guys like what I do here on YouTube, then head over to wevpn.com slash iUpdate and get started today. All right, second story about the iPhone today is for next year's iPhones. And uh, let me break it down to you real quick because I know that's kind of far in the future. Why does this actually matter? Why would we be talking about something that far in the future? It's because there's a rumor that 120 hertz would be coming to all iPhones next year. This is a feature that's not even on the iPhone yet. It's supposed to come to the Pro models this year and it makes the screen look twice as good. 120 years promotion, it's been on the iPad forever and we're finally getting it on the Pro iPhones this year. And there's a reason we haven't gotten it yet. It's because the iPhone literally doesn't have LTPO screen technology, which gives you a variable refresh rate that makes something like a twice as refresh rate heavy screen battery efficient. So we don't even have it on the iPhone because the tech isn't there. And this year it's coming to the, the 12S Pro model. 
models. We're finally getting it. You see, this new report from the ELEC, who is 75% accurate, came out though, and they said that this LTPO technology is coming to all of the iPhones next year. Not just the Pro models, but that LG could be the supplier for LTPO of the lower end phones. But this is odd, because 120 hertz is already such a premium feature. To bring it to all iPhones next year, it seems like a, a pretty quick turnaround if you ask me. What I think is gonna happen is that LTPO for a variable refresh rate is gonna come to all iPhones. I think that part's true. I just don't see Apple enabling ProMotion on the entire iPhone lineup. I mean, it's possible. They could, you know, we'll, we'll see how this story develops, but we don't even have ProMotion on the Pros yet. And for Apple to go from Pros to all phones in two years, mm, does that sound like Apple? I mean, Tim Cook barely gives me a pat on the back and I'm his son. Do you think he's gonna give everybody 120 yards? No, and call me back, Tim. It's your son and I miss you. I'm gonna keep that meme going forever. For legal reasons, he's not actually my dad and there's been nothing filed in court. But if he was my dad, that'd be cool because then I could probably go to Apple events. Let's move on to the Mac story now. <laughs> Listen, if you guys are like me, you've been dying to eat your hands on new Mac hardware. I mean, we love the M1, we love you, but we still want a better version of you and you will be replaced very quickly when it comes out. And the next Mac chip is coming inside of the upcoming MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch redesigned models that are still on the docket for later this year. But there's been a lot of curiosity, like well, what comes after M1X? Or is M1X actually what it's gonna be called? What about M2 or M3? Like what, what's coming next? How is Apple going to use their chips? And we've actually gotten the answer from Dylan DKT over on Twitter, who is this really fascinating source that somehow just knows Apple Silicon's roadmap. And he was dead on for the M1 iMac and MacBooks before. And now he's sharing predictions about the M1X and the M2. So for pro products like the Mac Pro, the MacBook Pro, the iMac Pro, if that comes back, there is going to be M1X or the X series of chips. And that's actually what it's gonna be called. This is gonna be like a modified version slightly upgraded, it's gonna have more cores, better GPU, additional RAM capacity. But then there's gonna be M2, and this is gonna be for like the MacBook Air, the Mac Mini, products that aren't really at the pro level, but that still are gonna have Apple Silicon inside. Most importantly, I've been wondering, okay, well, when's M2 coming out? Is M2 gonna precede M1X? How can I just get my hands on this new Apple Silicon the fastest? And Dylan DKT says that this will be happening in 2022 for M2. Two. So 2022, M2, new MacBook Air coming in the first half of 2022. And it still seems, as I mentioned before, that M1X is on track for this year, just in the fall, in, in November or something, or October. But yeah, M1X is coming this year. Don't expect a new version of the, the standard big M2 chip, which will be in lower end consumer level products until sometime next year. Hopefully that clarifies the Apple Silicon situation because there's been so much speculation and this is the best evidence that we have that M1X is for pros coming this year, M2 coming next year for more consumer level products. All right guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, see you in the next one, peace.